Hey guys, we're in the SOB factory over here. Apologize if there's some background noise coming from the shop. Um, I wanted to get a video out to you. So this, as you see here, is the new SOB M1. We introduced this at SHOT Show. Sorry, we're a little late getting videos out. But you'll see as we set this up, very similar to the SOB2 in design and function. However, the way it stows is different than the SOB2. Similar to the SOB2, you've got a separate case with your side panels in there. They are the wings as we call them. Other armor panels for this system store within the chassis itself, so it doesn't compact down quite as bit as the SOB2, but you still get a compact design that's very easy, easy to deploy and stores easier than a system that stays up all the time, right? So I'm going to walk you through real quick how to deploy this. I'm going to do it by myself. I'd recommend doing it with two and be easier, but uh, you know I need to work out this morning, so I'm going to do it myself. So as you see, we've got the separate armor panels stowed within the chassis in there. I'm going to start just like this, grab this first panel, and you'll see we've got these cam locks in here. If we can zoom up on those, there's a handle on the back, and as you turn those, that's what locks these panels into place so that they won't move. Okay, so as simple as dropping these in right on top of each other, and then locking those handles down. Okay, I'm going to grab the next one here. Drop it right in there. Lock those handles down. That thing's not going to come out. Okay, then I'm going to grab my viewport right here. The viewport's a little heavy. This is the one where you really benefit from two people, but it's doable. Just line those up, pop them down. Once again, grab those handles. And now that thing's locked into place, it won't move. Grab your diagonal braces, and those lock right into these uh, QD holes right there. Anyway, now you've got your base unit set up, and that took me, uh, what, under a minute? By myself, so a little training, most any, any operator can do it fairly quickly. Now I'm going to go ahead and attach these side shields. Okay, so those have little holes right there. You drop onto those pins. Simple as lining them up, getting them on there, and dropping them on like that. Okay, and they'll lock out like that. Got a release there to fold it. So this one, we've got somewhat of a hook down here that hooks onto the other panel. So I'm gonna line that up, and then line that hole up on the top. Okay, just like that, you've got a slide bolt here that automatically engages and will keep that thing from coming off. So I'm not the brightest or most experienced operator out there, but as you can see, I was able to do this by myself in about a minute if I was going right through it. So once again, I can fold those right back like that. If I need to pass through a tight doorway, I'm good to go. And as simple as that to deploy them. Now if I wanted to, as with all SOPs, I can unlock those front wheels. If I wanted to crab this thing sideways to get it into position, I can do that. In normal operating circumstances, we always recommend Locking these out in front. Like that, it gives you a wider wheelbase so that if you hit a curb or an obstacle out front, you're not going to topple over. You do have a lot of weight up there with this SO with this uh, level 4 armor. So, anyway, I hope that's helpful. Uh, send us a message on social media, wherever, and uh, let us know if you have any questions. Thanks.